Elio guys and welcome back. I definitely hope you guys are enjoying your experience of Eroica so far and in today's video we're going to be covering the carriage here or at least the amount of data that I've found thus far and yes this is my actual main account where you can actually see my name and that I'm level 50 and rocking my gaps over here but let's go over here to the carriage so I don't take up too much of your time. So the basic interface of the carriage which it brings you to the second floor which is known as the cafeteria we have like a little crafting area over here which is nice for making up gear and runes and stuff of that nature. We also have the hero quest area too which you can always hit a shortcut button to get over here uh, no problem whatsoever even though the UI just disappeared on me and then we have the actual cafe area where you have characters come in and if you give them certain gifts right here we can also get potential shards from our characters. Not only can we get shards but we can up their affection and also get more coins versus just giving them like an apple here which next us a whopping 300 coins versus the 960 coins that we could get here. So the goal of the carriage is to produce the items that the character wants. That way you get more bang for your buck. You get more out of your time spent in terms of being in the cafeteria and giving these characters exactly what they want here. But if you don't have anything that they want at this point in time, then feel free to give them like an apple or something just to hold them by. Because as you can see, my cafe revenue is max. So I'm going to go ahead and collect that. It's a whopping 5,800 coins. But I mean, the game just opened up with this new carriage system anyways. So that's just the synopsis for this. And obviously, once you progress later into the game and get your account level up, you do have access to bump up this wagon in particular and not only increase your max capacity, but also gain more coins per hour, which is great. I can't do that at this point in time, however, even though I'm sitting at nearly 5 million coins because I do need to craft another item to basically level this up here. And with those coins that you do accrue, we can buy, you know, experience potions. There's stuff for like sweep tickets to help clear out stages faster to, you know, give you time to play other games and enjoy your life. There's also enhancement stones for equipment, gold chests, the chocolate boxes, which can also be given to your characters to help raise up their affection. And the most money making things in the world, the things that bring a smile to my face is not only the miracle skill book and the awakening rune, but also present tickets just to help further up your character's development here. If you can make those daily sales though, you will get the added bonus of the pellets here, but we all know that there's two levels to this area and this is where the action happens at here without a doubt. So initially when you first start off here, you, you're only going to have this one cabin area which produces apples or peaches, whatever the heck you want to call them. I believe they are apples though, so don't quote me on that. But as soon as possible, try and get your coins up from the cafeteria and start putting it in over here so you guys can start crafting the wood planks. Because the wood planks are needed to not only up the level of your cafeteria, but just to help further progression for this cart or wagon in general right here. So like last night, I literally like pushed all of this super duper quickly by you know just producing the required plank or the required bricks that i can and if you want to speed this up really quickly just hit this button right here you can hit complete now that gives you the reward instantly and then also if you come over here with this button we can see that the three wood planks that we just crafted and spit out super duper quickly equates to 30 in terms of experience of loving up this particular wagon to the next level so this isn't something that you can rush i mean yes you can spend the gold and sit here for you know 10 or 15 minutes to boost this up here but if you don't have the material to do it that's going to bottleneck you at some point in time so don't think you have to like rush this all the way through all at once while it would be a good idea you know if you're just beginning in the game it's important for you to gather up that material which i'll kind of touch on at the end of the video here but yeah you definitely want to come over here Make sure you guys have your uh, units over here in this slot just so that you get the added benefit of production and making things just a lot more optimized for you. And then, of course, always just have something producing. If you log into the game to do your dailies, make sure you come over here and check this out. Get this stuff produced. That way you can slowly rise up the level of that wagon in particular here. Uh, and then going over here too, this one kind of benefits off of the first wagon or the apple uh, wagon in general. So you can come over here and produce those lovely apples into sweet juice at this point in time and we'll get that rolling and it's the same effect here where we need a certain cap to hit before we can level it up and we also have our equipment from the second wagon which is the materials to level this bad boy up so what i'm going to do is accelerate that really quickly here and the nice thing too is that if you notice once you hit that cap 
this little arrow is going to turn orange or yellow whatever the heck your vision is and indicate hey i'm ready to level up so i'm going to go ahead and hit produce right here we can go right here level this bad boy up congratulations now we have the second tier in terms of the carriage levels uh required to start crafting some more lovely items now i don't have that item currently because it's probably dependent on my first wagon but i want to go ahead and get this going through the pipeline too because once again this is just going to add to experience even if i come back to it later and let's go back to the first wagon and we can see that I'm able to produce these guys too. So I'm going to go ahead and get things going right here. And once again, make sure you guys check this. And once this hits the required area, then you can thus level it up and get, you know, more produce going on here. Which I'm actually going to do right now because you guys are checking out the video. And I'm just going to show you guys, this is essentially what you do, especially in the beginning, if you want to kind of push this as fast as possible and just to get this out the way, because, you know, the less time that you spend here, the more time you can spend doing other things in the game. And we're just going to wait for this arrow to pop up here. And I mean, this part isn't too bad. It really comes down to the second wagon, though, which I feel like is going to be the biggest bottleneck for people due to those materials not being readily available unless you're literally exploring every single level of the game, every nook and cranny all at once. So you will have like a little kind of like nest egg in terms of material as you have begun this, but you will quickly run out, which we're getting to that part. Don't worry, we're gonna level this bad boy up. But we now have the coffee beans going on too, and this cabin is pretty much good to go. I wouldn't really add in another slot here because this is basically idle currency. This is stuff that piles up over time and that could be more productive for you in the very end. But if you're logging into the game multiple times a day, then I don't really see that being a big issue here. It is only 30 pellets, but it's really up to you if you want to do that. I'm just going to keep it as it is. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much covers the whole production area where there's three fields right here. And I can also unlock this bad boy, which is nice. So... I now have four areas unlocked and once the cafeteria hits a higher level I can then unlock a fifth area and then also the sixth area but let's check this one out too so like I said before once you come over here to a new area you're gonna hit this gear right here I just hit auto form because I'm lazy we'll get the baby girls in there to help with production and we'll start producing and it's the same thing over here you would hit that threshold make sure you can kind of level up your stuff and keep on going but you'll notice this crap right here keeps popping up for the strong steel frame because I don't have enough material to produce that. Don't worry, I got you guys covered here. But to go ahead and summarize the whole um, carriage system, it's pretty easy. Make sure you're going to certain areas of the game or certain wagons to make sure that you have the produce that you need going on to help feed your characters over there in the cafeteria and have them walking out with smiley faces instead of sad faces here. But in terms of the material that we need, let's go back to this wagon right here in particular. I will leave right here in the video and also in my guide as I update it of where we can farm out the material required. So the twigs is what you're going to need. You're going to need stone bricks. And of course, you're also going to need the rusty iron pieces here. So I will include a list in this video of where you can go to those areas and farm these guys out here. But keep in mind that since this is just a list that I compiled literally like moments before this video, I can't tell you the most optimal stage yet. Once I figure out the most optimal stage that people should be running to gather up this material the quickest in terms of, you know, time versus money, then I'll go ahead and include that too. But that pretty much sums up the carriage here, you guys. You want to start this early, get that idle currency going, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this kind of solves some issues with the carriage because it's not too difficult. It's just a bit weird at first. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.